We're getting more insight into that major upset in the race for Harris County judge and how straight ticket voting played a huge role. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard talked with a political expert. He's joining us now from Upper Kirby with more on this part of the story. Ryan. And Laura, we're told it was a huge influence, not only on the winners, but in those voting lines you saw at the polls. Remember these super long lines during early voting? Rice University professor Mark Jones says that just wait until straight party ticket voting disappears in two years. If no change is made other than getting rid of straight ticket voting, then we're going to be looking at massive lines at the polls. That means if you vote, you will have to vote race by race, a time consuming exercise. And it's not just speed. He says straight party ticket voting heavily influenced this year's election. And that's why we saw all 59 Republican uh, judge candidates lose, all 59 Democrats win. Professor Jones says that includes longtime Harris County Judge Ed Emmett, who Jones predicted would have a tough race. Straight ticket voting this year was unprecedented in Harris County. More than 75% of Harris County voters used the straight ticket option, and when Democrats had an 11-point advantage over Republicans, 55 to 44%. That made it virtually impossible for most down-ballot uh, Republicans to win. Right now, Texas is one of only eight states with straight ticket voting. He says the change in Texas in two years will make each candidate stand on their own. One advantage is the fact that voters will be forced to actually look at the candidates and not vote purely based on partisanship the way the majority have up to this date. And one question we've heard today is what is next for Beto O'Rourke? We'll take a look at that coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. We're live at Upper Kirby, Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.